how am I handling customer support for my website? I am accepting help in this department because I realize when things go well for my school, it will be more than I can handle. So from the very beginning, I'm setting up customer support. I've got a reply to email here. So when I send out emails, then when people reply, it will come to my friend, Michelle Gerard, who also edits my books and helps get my videos turned into blog posts. Michelle offered to handle customer service for the website and therefore, in the basic settings under site emails, I'm putting Michelle in here for so he can respond to both support emails and direct replies to messages. I think it's essential to have a great customer support experience. Why? Because I can't stand when companies, for example, Twitter verification. You submit, you do this work to submit your account, you get all excited to get your Twitter account verified, and what do they do? They offer a completely disappointing experience. They don't even tell you why. There's no transparency when they say no, and if they say yes, then they probably just tell you it's verified, and they don't even tell you what you did, essentially, that they liked. That to me is an example. You've got some of your most enthusiastic Twitter users asking you to get verified, often with some of your most active accounts or with accounts that have influence. And what do you do? You treat them like crap. I think it's essential to have a good relationship when things go wrong. And one of the one of the reasons that Twitter verification support bothered me is because for most of my website, I've had a crap customer support experience as well. I was using WooCommerce to make sales, which you had to create an account on jerrybanfield.com. Then you had to create another account on another website, either my Teachable School or on Skillshare or on Udemy originally. And the customer support was all over the place. Also, for me, doing customer support takes away time for me to make videos. I don't have a lot of free time, and I've already done a lot of customer support in my business. I'm willing to do it, but the question is, is the most effective use of my time to do customer support? Given that I have income, I can pay Michelle to do it, and he enjoys doing it. He does a great job with it. I think customer support is one of these areas, if you're just starting off your school, it's outstanding to do it yourself, to see exactly what the limitations are. See what people are having a problem with, see where things are going wrong. What I'm hoping to do is design my school so that people will directly come and join my Facebook group my Jerry Banfield and Friends Facebook group where they can then interact with me directly using Facebook, which then if, say, a customer goes and buys something and interacts with me in the group, then everyone else who's in the group has the potential to see that. Whereas I avoid working through email if at all possible. That's just me personally. Email is a basic means of communication that's important to keep open. So in this department, it's important for me to have a partner who is dependable and reliable. If you don't have someone who you trust to handle your customer support, then it might be worth looking around at your existing students, colleagues, partners, and friends to find someone you trust. How much do I trust Michelle? I'm going to add Michelle to my Stripe account as well so that Michelle can go in if someone asks for a refund. Michelle can go in and directly handle that. Because if he has to ask me to handle it and I have to handle it and get back to him, then I might as well have took the customer support email myself. Therefore, I give Michelle access so he can go in and refund people directly in my Stripe account. Then that allows me to not have to do all that extra work if, say, there's a thousand sales and there's 10 or 20 refunds. That is a significant amount of extra work. If you're going to have someone besides you handle it, they need to have the level of access where they can go in and finish things and not just have to forward things to you. They also need to be extremely reliable. Michelle, I've worked with him for a year or two. He's extremely reliable. He does what he says he's going to do. He's trustworthy. He consistently shows up and does the anything that he's doing for me on a regular basis. If he's traveling or something, he lets me know. 
if you're going to have a customer support besides someone else, just throwing it out to a virtual assistant who doesn't understand your business is an awful way to do it. Next time you have an awful support experience, just remember that if you're making a school like this, it's up to you to offer a great customer support experience. And if you're limited in having too many students, too many fans online, or too many things to do, then it's important to have a partner who is committed to providing a high level of customer service. This is where relationships can really grow when something goes wrong and you do a good job, relationships can really grow. One of the poorest aspects of my business for the last several years has been my customer support. And now I hope this will make a simple way for everyone in my school to get a hold of Michelle when there's a problem. Michelle will have the ability to handle most anything like refunds or answering questions. And then I hope this offers an outstanding customer experience combined with being able to interact with me in the Facebook group.